Altitudes. Our problem reads, determine the length of the altitude of triangle WXY through vertex W, where W is negative 60, 20, X is negative 80, negative 90, and Y is 100 and 0. So for this question, I don't have a grid. Um, so graphing to make uh, the triangle is tricky because the numbers are very large. So usually when I'm doing one of these questions, what I'll do is just draw a picture of a triangle just to give me some idea of what we're doing. So it's not to scale. And then I'm just going to label W, X, Y, and Z, sorry, W, X, and Y. So it does say it has to go through vertex W. So I think I'm going to put that one at the top just to make this easier for me. And then I'm just going to do X. And y. Now an altitude is a line that is drawn from the corner that's specified straight down at a 90 degree angle to the opposite side. So if I wanted to do the altitude that passes through w, it needs to be 90 degree angles to the w. So Usually if I want to try to do a 90 degree angle and I don't have a protractor, what I might do is use the bottom of my ruler and try to line that up with the bottom of the triangle and then just slide it over until it lines up with the point. So there's my altitude. So the question wants me to find the length of that altitude. So we're going to use the grasp method to help us solve this. So we're going to do given, required, analysis, solution, and present. So I'm going to start with given. And what's given in the question are the three points, so W, X, and Y. Because it is passing through W, I'm going to put a little box around that just to remind me which one is actually on the altitude. Okay, the required. What is the question asking for? This question is asking me to find the length of the altitude. Through point W. So the tricky part is the analysis, trying to break down the question and figure out what we're going to do. So what does the question want? The question wants the length of the altitude. Is there a formula for length? Yes, there is. So I'm going to write that formula down. Length is the square root of x2 take away x1 squared plus y2 take away y1 squared. In order to calculate the length, I need to have an x2, an x1, a y2, and a y1, which are going to come from two points. So I need two points in order to make this work. Now those two points need to be the end points of my altitude. So one of those points is going to be W because it's at one end of the altitude. But the other end is unfortunately an unknown point that I don't currently know. And I need to know that point. Is that point the midpoint? Probably not. Uh, this point here is not, it didn't say it was a midpoint. Altitudes do not necessarily pass through the midpoint. So that means this is some other point that I don't really know how to find. I do know that it is where x, y and the altitude intersect. So it is the point of intersection of x, y and my altitude. How do we find points of intersection? We learned in the last unit that to find a point of intersection between two lines that you can solve by substitution, elimination, 
or graphing. Now, realistically, we rarely do the graphing, and since I didn't make a graph here, um, I'm probably not likely to graph, but it is a possibility. So if you need to find solve by substitution, elimination, or graphing, what you need are two equations. You need to know the equation of x, y, and we also need to know the equation of my altitude. So to do substitution or elimination, I need two equations. Right? One of those equations is going to be the equation of the side x, y. The other equation is going to be uh, the altitude. So to find the equation of the side x, y, an equation of a line, we always use the basic formula y equals mx plus b. And we need to find a slope, that's m, and a b, that's the y-intercept. To find the slope, we can calculate it with two points if we have two points. And I do. We have x and y. We do know the two endpoints. So we can find the slope using the formula delta y over delta x, or y2 minus y1 equals x2 minus x1, whichever you like better. And in either to do either formula, so whether you want to do delta y over delta x or whether you want to do the formula, you do need two points. And those two points are going to be the points x and y, since we're finding the equation of x, y. So x in this case is negative 80 and negative 90, and y is 100 and 0. So once we calculate our slope, we have to also find the y-intercept. The y-intercept, we use y equals mx plus b, and we solve for b. So to solve for b, I would have to know m, which is my slope, which we would already have calculated over here. And then we also need an x and a y, which would be a point, and it has to be a point on the line. So since this is x, y, we either need to use point x or point y, whichever one you think is easier. I think the point y looks a little bit easier, but you can use either one. So this is going to get me equation number one. Equation number two, the altitude, I have to think a little bit more about that. So we still want to do y equals mx plus b for this one. And I need a slope, and I need a y-intercept. Now, the altitude meets x, y at a 90-degree angle, which means they're perpendicular. And lines that are perpendicular have negative reciprocal slopes. So to get the slope here, we're going to do the negative reciprocal of x, y, which we would have calculated oops, somewhere over here when we did slope. Right? So we're going to take it from, and I didn't draw the arrow long enough, it should go all the way around to slope. Once I know my slope, which is going to be the negative reciprocal of the slope over here, I also need to find the y-intercept using y equals mx plus b. And we're going to use slope. It's going to be the slope that was given. So we're going to take that from here. And we also need the y-intercept, which we're going to calculate. Oh, sorry. We already have the y-intercept. We want to find the y-intercept. And we are going to find the y-intercept by putting in, sorry, the slope and a point. So this should really be a point. It has to be a point on my altitude, and the only point we know on our altitude is point W, so we're going to use W, which is negative 60 and 20. 
So now that I have my plan, which doesn't even really fit on the screen, we want to find the length of the altitude, right? So we are going to start by finding the slope of xy, find the y-intercept of xy to get the equation of xy. And then once we have the equation of xy, we're going to try for the altitude equation. We're going to use the negative reciprocal slope from this one and then use that slope and the point w to find my y-intercept. And then once I know the two equations, we are going to solve by substitution, elimination, or graphing. And then once we find that point of intersection, we can finally calculate the length. So there isn't enough time on this video for me to do that, so we're going to have to record it on a second one. I'll see you in a minute.